Hi everyone, it's Mr. Sinti, and today I'd like to invite you to a conversation I'd like to have with you regarding the medulla oblongata and the pons. That's right, the medulla oblongata and the pons are all part of this brain stem right in here, which is in the, the most inferior part of the brain, and basically it's allowing the brain and the spinal cord to communicate, which is, I would say, pretty important. <laughs> And so you may notice here in this um, mid-sagittal cut of a sheep brain right here, you'll notice that the spinal cord um, is shown here in purple, and that's obviously extending in a downward direction uh, through the spinal, um, to the cerebral column. But right up here, as it connects to the brain itself, this particular area, this most inferior part of the brain is the medulla oblongata right in here where I'm pointing. And then um, right above that is the, is the pons. And so that's what our conversations is going to be about. And so both of these are all part of the brain stem. And in this, the front part of the brain right up here, the, the anterior, and this is posterior. And so one can say that the um, medulla, which is located right here, is interior to the to cerebellum, which is located right there. That's its location. And so, to, again, here's a picture pointing directly to the medulla, and it's it's sort of cone shaped, if you will, and it's responsible for autonomic, uh, involuntary functions. Okay, so there there's the big idea, and so we're going to get into some a little bit of detail about that. And so, as I said before, it's continuous with the spinal cord. Um, uh, within the skull and it forms the lowest part of the brain stem and it controls uh, things which are very important <laughs> can't survive without this and so damage to the medulla is rather devastating to say the least but it controls uh, breathing and heart rate things like that okay so um, some of the more crucial uh, details of that c c crucial task it's, it regulates blood pressure heart rate as I was mentioning breathing rate it's part shown here. It's part of the, the brainstem that also transfers neural information from the brain downward to the spinal cord and then back up to the cerebral cortex as well. So it's it's relaying information and it's also uh, regulating uh, some of those important uh, unconscious type functions that are crucial for survival. And so getting into the detail of this, and again, you're welcome to to pause the video to sort of consider this. As I was mentioning, like relaying information um, from the spinal cord up to the brain and back, that mostly is in the form of ascending and descending tracks, if you will, within these columns, as you can, as you can see here. Um, that links the brain with the spinal cord. And white matter is, uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar to that, the white matter suggests the fact that those are myelinated axons that are doing that. But the gray matter shown up here, all these little subcategories right here, this uh, olivary nuclei, uh, you have this reflex centers right in here where you're basically uh, controlling respiratory uh, kinds of events. Uh, you have various uh, nuclei regions here that relay uh, somatic information to the thalamus. Uh, then you also have some cranial nerves that are that are protruding from the uh, medulla as well, as well as some reticular uh, formation, which contains nuclei that are part of the, the, the vital autonomic uh, functions that we were referring to before. So all of these, this sort of detail, but basically it's controlling autonomic uh, functions uh, unconsciously, which is pretty cool. All right, and then the pons, which is just, uh, superior to the medulla, which is then an inferior, inferior to the midbrain. So the pons is this area right in here. Though small, about two and a half centimeters long, it serves a lot of important functions right there, the pons. And so the pons has, uh, in addition to uh, some of its uh, functionality, it has important nerves that originate in the, in the pons. And I wanted to bring this to your attention. Nerves responsible for feeling in the face and controlling muscles for biting and chewing and swallowing. Uh, facial expressions are all controlled uh, from this pons area. And also uh, having to do with sound. And so, you ready for this? So, the vestibulocochlear nerve 
allows sound to move from uh, the ear to the brain via the pons. So that, that's kind of cool. And then you can see here in this diagram, here's the location of the pons right in there. So it receives, it's basically a message station between several areas of the brain as well. It, it relays in, uh, messages between the cortex, right, which is up here in the uh, cerebrum, uh, and the cerebellum, which is located right over here. So it's relaying messages between these two regions of the brain. And again, it houses tracks that connect. It connects the cerebellum to the brainstem as well. And so there's a lot of interconnection going on in the pons. And so as you can see here is a really cool a mid sagittal cut here, the sheep brain. Here's the pons, which is right uh, superior to the medulla and inferior to the midbrain. So you can see it right in here, just a small little structure, but uh, the, the brain wouldn't be able to function and manage without uh, transmissions being passed along. <laughs> so small yet powerful. And uh, one of its more interesting functions, I'll say this in my, in my judgment, is that it plays a, uh, an important role in sleep. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with this is, video isn't about this, but there's various stages of sleep. And so one of the stages of sleep is rapid eye movement or REM sleep. It's a state where dreaming is most likely to occur. And it's been shown that this is uh, originating in the ponds. Find that, that's kind of interesting. And so... Um, REM sleep occurs at intervals during the night and uh, it's characterized by this rapid eye movement and um, sometimes you know, bodily movement as well and faster pulse and breathing. And so um, that's another uh, interesting function of the pons. And so there you have it. Um, part of the brainstem, the medulla oblongata and the pons, um, important structures of the brain. Okay, so thanks for watching.